Hello and welcome to the video. This is a quick update for some of the latest things that Ben and the team of 3DXR have in stock. Now I'm lucky I get to go and see those guys once every other month and I'm really interested in what 3DXR are up to because although the store is kind of aimed at the professional and prosumer market, a lot of the technology that I see Ben playing with a couple of years down the line ends up in the hobby grade stuff as well. Now Ben also opened uh, another store, he bought Drone Authority that was relaunched at the beginning of December and I'm going to do a separate video with some of the new stuff in there as well. But for those of you that are into your Pixhawk style flight controllers, your orange cubes, your Ardu Pilot, your big VTOLs, your big powerful systems, your big quad and X multi-rotors that are there to do a job, then stay tuned. I'm also going to be doing a video soon with Ben talking about some new RTK stuff that will be coming out soon. So if you're interested in high precision RTK GPS, then make sure you're subscribed. There's some videos coming that should be of a lot of interest to you. So I'll hand over to Ben, he'll take us through some of the latest stuff they've got in stock. It's been a couple of months since our last video, so I just want to give you an update and show you some of our latest products and some of the products and brands that we've been stocking more of their ranges from. So let's take a look at some of our chargers. So here is a small selection um, of some of the chargers we have in stock. Recently, we've took on iCharger. So we have the full range of iChargers. Um, these are a, just a really good quality charger. We've got the small sizes all the way up to quite the big, powerful chargers. Generally, these chargers give you a lot more information about the state of your battery, such as the internal resistance. There's lots of logging functions. But yeah, recently we started to take on the, um, the full range, so this is just a sample of those. Sky RC, we've stocked for quite a while, and this is one of their more recent chargers, the T1000. Again, we have the full range of chargers from small USB chargers up to big, powerful, you know, couple of thousand watt chargers as well as the chargers for your traditional lipo batteries we also have um, a range of chargers from a few different manufacturers for charging cells so here's an example of a, a dual cell charger this will do your 18650s and aa batteries so we have a range of these that'll do single batteries double batteries even four and eight battery chargers so if you have a look on our website you will see a huge amount of chargers in stock from brands such as sky rc iCharger. we also have ultra power we have them in from Gen Z, so we have the Toolkit RC chargers, so from the smallest chargers to the largest chargers for agricultural batteries. So one product we've actually sold for a while is these composite folding propellers from T-Motor. So this is a MF series propeller, this particular one's a 22 inch propeller. Um, and what they've recently released is this Pro series, so this is a box for one, slightly different colour to the black of the standard. And the Pro offers a slightly different airfoil, so you'll see the refined edges and um, tips on these. Um, so it's a composite um, propeller. It has a metal hub here, so this is all included. So in, in a box with one of these, because it's for a multi-rotor, you get both rotations, so you get a clockwise and a counterclockwise propeller, um, the two blades and the hubs in a box. Um, now with the Pro Series, they've done slightly different sizing, so it kind of has the odd numbers. So the MF Series, for example, you get 18, 20, 22 inch, whereas in the Pro Series, it's 21, 23. These, this particular size here has the standard 12 mil mounting holes. Um, obviously, as you go to larger, then they have the sort of four hole mountings when you're the 30 inch propeller. So all the specifications and mounting dimensions are on the website. So carrying on from the propellers, um, here's some arm sets now. We've actually sold arm sets for a long time and we've, we've generally only kept a small amount in stock because there's so many variations. But what we've been doing recently is just trying to basically stock all the possible combinations to allow a quick lead time for people wanting to make their drones. So what an arm set is, it's, it's the mount for the motor, which has an ESC inside, and then you have your motor. So in this case, these are sort of the match products. Um, this one's a 505 series, so probably takes about a 22 inch propeller. There's a, a, a few options to different propellers you can put on them. Um, it's all sort of wired, so you would just have this in the carbon tube. In this particular one, it can take a 25 mil tube with this adapter that's in there, or you remove the adapter, and it's a it's a 30 millimeter tube so this yeah this like you say is a 505 from the t-motor navigator range another example 
um, these are actually coaxial so you'll notice these they don't come in you know a fancy box these are meant for people building and assembling drones you don't need the the fancy box it is what you might call in like an OEM delivery it's just wrapped and um, the wrap to stop your contamination and they're just in a sort of an underbrand unbranded package and that, that's how you'd get an arm set so this is coaxial so we've got a top and bottom motor and um, this is the u8 series so this particular one's 150 kv and um, i know that in this range there is I think it's about four different kv options and this is also the 30 mil tube and um, there is some customization within the arm set range for example these can be done with a 40 millimeter tube and there is most of the t-motor products are available as an arm set one nice feature that they all have is built-in leds and most of these color can be changed by the user um, or we choose the colors um, as, a, as a fixed color option one thing to note we, we just showed you previously the um, folding propeller now this is um, a composite propeller which you you can get in sizes big enough for these u8 motors but we must say it's, it's not recommended to use the composite propellers on um coaxial motor setups and that's mainly because there is a lot of flex so it's not recommended to use um a you know an mf series propeller on coaxial and um, you would want to use the solid um polished series or glossy series when you're coaxial set up like this and that's just because of the they flex a bit more than um, a solid carbon propeller but yeah basically this is this is an example of a coaxial arm set and um, a standard arm set and like i say we're basically trying to stock the full range off the shelf so that when you come to build your drone using nice setups like this we have the available stock uh, for quick delivery around the world so thanks again to Ben and the team up there for hosting me and letting me come around and have a nose about and have a look at some of the latest technology. Links down below to some of that stuff and do stay tuned for that video on RTK GPS. There is a really cool new cheaper way to have your base station. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless 360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.